Hello, my Pinkie Pals. Today, we are going to be creating a, a request from Boba Frog. When I asked, what should we draw next? Their response was literally, frog. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to walk you through my process as well as how I set things up in Procreate. First things first, we will start a new canvas. So I pretty much always do a square now just because it fits with, in, with Instagram so nice. Our dimensions are 2048 by 2048 pixels and DPI, I'm going to change that. So to change that, you're going to go canvas and then you're going to go crop and resize settings. We're going to put it at 300 DPI. So that will mean that we can have less layers, but I think 44 layers is still more than enough for what we will need. So next we need to decide what we're going to draw. I do know it's going to be a frog. And what I will do is I will just maybe shimmy myself a little bit. I'm going to put what we draw up in the corner. So you'll be able to see uh, what the end piece looks like and we'll go from there. So I have one of two brushes that I use whenever I'm sketching. Either I use my own pencil or what I've been using a lot lately is the dry ink. Grab a color, any color, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm doing pink because I like pink. First, we're going to draw them on a lily pad, which is really easy. You just wanna create an oval. I'm gonna do another layer for my frog. I've decided that I kind of want him to be a little bit of a tall boy. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to draw him on there. I just kind of want to be away. So I'm going to do a circle. And then I'm going to do another kind of like chunkier oval below. Then I've got my two shapes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to join them. So it's going to kind of look like a bit of a kidney bean. What I'm going to do here though is I want... I want him to be a little bit chubbier. So I'm just going to draw kind of a line there so that it's like this is his body, right? But his his booty is a little bigger. His booty area anyway. Okay. That's pretty much it for the body shape. He's essentially sitting in like a crunched up kind of position. Next, we're going to give him some eyes. My tip for, or my little trick that I do to make sure that I'm doing the same size, I will just kind of go, I'll trace over top of it. And then I'll make it a circle, make it about the same. I don't really mind if it's not the exact same. And then I'll just bring it over this way. Ooh, that thing needs some wilding. Okay, and then I'll like rotate it myself and bring it here. Okay. I kind of want this eye a little bit more that way. So there. To me, that's that's a good basis for what the body's gonna be. I might kind of tweak these lines a little bit more, but for the most part, I like it. So I always just like to draw in the eyes, and I'm gonna do just little ones, and then a little mouth. What I would normally do is just draw the legs, but what you can do is create essentially more ovals. So I already, you know, I'm familiar with the line, like the line shape of it. So I have no need to, but you can kind of see, if you bring it up like this, you can get at least kind of like the vibe that we're going for so you can do that and then i want my legs to kind of come back in so you would just do another one so this is essentially his knee and his foot well ankle i guess and then here would be his foot i'm just gonna go ahead and make it more of a douche like that because that's kind of what i'm looking for Thank you. 
this to me is really busy. I don't really like it. So I would normally just draw what it is, but I'm also just going to erase some of these lines that aren't needed. As I sketch, there's a lot of times where I'll look at something and I'm like, that's just not right. So easy enough to just go in and make it look a little bit better. I'm going to give him some little paws down here. I guess they're not paws, feet, whatever they happen to be. And I'm just gonna do something simple like that, like really basic. Cause I'm kind of like, he's sitting on the ground. So to kind of cute up his face, what I also will do is like make sure that he's got big cheeks. I'm just gonna make note of that in the sketch just because mostly I just like doing it. And I'm going to also give him a little bit of a little sprout on the top. And then on top of that, again, down here, we can actually erase these lines too, to help clear it up. And you can see I'm never, I don't fully erase anything. I always keep it because you kind of never know what you might end up using. So to do that, I just drop the opacity on my brush. And then I want to give him like a little bit of like this like kind of white belly. And then I think just to bring up the cute factor even more, I want to give him glasses but because I don't trust myself to just do it on the sketch. I'm just going to do it this way. So because he's, he's kind of looking this way his head is turned very, very slightly that way. So what I'll do is, and I know this is like very usual, but it's, I'm definitely not, you know, this isn't breaking any molds by any means. I just like doing the circle of glasses. I like the Harry Potter glasses. So that's what I'm doing. Cause I think that's cute. And then you also want to, you know, remember that there is something that needs to be attached to this. So like it needs to be attached in some way. So you want to make sure that you've put in your little lens. Now that's cute. And then this side is going to be very much so a circle, but it's going to be a little bit less because it's not really like, it's not a three quarter degree. It's just very close. So again, I just grab that a little bit, move it over here. And now because I'm on a different layer, I don't have to worry about selecting the wrong thing. So I just slightly moved it over a little bit. So it's still basically a circle. So I go like that. I'm gonna go like this and give it a little thing. And there we go. And that's our frog. And I think he's pretty darn cute. So we're gonna put him down just we don't even really need to group we can just flatten at this point this is just a sketch so it's not like it needs to be anything super exciting and then what we're gonna do here is I want to put just a little leaf above him we can start with just a an oval and I want it to be big enough to cover him essentially so it's going to be pretty big and then we're going to go once you've got the oval, what you can do is just kind of pick a point at the bottom. That's going to be where it, where your point is. And I like to do kind of, we're going to do a heart shaped leaf. So we're just going to bring this around and meet there. Okay. And then we're going to bring this around, but meet in like that. So again, you can see the main leaf. We still use these shapes to kind of get there. So you can just delete these shapes now because we don't need them. And again, you can just roughly do it. You don't even have to delete them. Delete. You don't have to erase them if you don't want to. But that's roughly the idea of what I have. And then I'm going to bring this little stem around and it's going to kind of just go behind them type thing. And there we go. So at this point, I've got everything on its own layer. So I can kind of change it up a little bit and see what I prefer. Now with 
digital art too, what's really nice is you can easily check that your, your work is balanced by giving it a little bit of a flip. So you can see mine really wasn't balanced at all. And just by doing that little flip, I could see that it was like very one-sided, but otherwise it looks good. And I want my frog to be like kind of the middle, like he's the main attraction, right? So we've got that and we've got that. There we go. Now let's not forget about our lily pad. Now that we've got that out, this is super easy with this one. You're just going to come over here and you're going to do a triangle out of it. And that's it. That part gets deleted. You don't need it. And that's, that's pretty much our finished, our finished creation. I'm just going to lower the opacity. So you just hit the end and you just lower the opacity down. And then we're just going to ink over top of it. So the only thing I'm not sure about is how I want to do this. Because I've been doing lineless style for a very long time. But I think I'm going to keep to the lines. So I always start on the face of most of what I do because I just think it kind of, the face is the important part. So that's what I want to like showcase. So we'll do that. All right guys, so with the line art completed, what we need to do now is color. So I'm actually just gonna move the sketch layer up, if it'll let me here. I'm gonna put it on top and I'm just gonna lower the opacity even more. I just don't wanna forget the cheeks. I don't think I will, but one never knows. I'm gonna create a new layer, move it to the bottom, and then we're gonna fill in our base. It's, <laughs> it's a green frog sitting on a green, uh, lily pad with a green leaf so there's gonna be a lot of green the thing is I don't want it all to be the exact same green I'm just going to my palette here so we will be changing it up a little bit so I just use I, I continue to use the same thing I use the oh I just realized I missed some lines there I use the studio pen to color in as well. Wait. I'm getting the right color. There we go. Forgot that. See, that's why I keep that layer there. I also want to remember that belly too. So back to that. I'm going to color my frog first because that's my most favorite part. <laughs> And that's what I tend to do. I tend to pick what I like the most and then color that first. I really hate this foot, but we're just gonna keep going with it. So I just outline everything and then I flood fill. Okay, so then I'll just grab my color from the top. Oh, don't know what happened there, but okay. <laughs> so you just grab the color and you pull it. I think I just sat on it too long. And there we go. So next I'm going to do the lily pad and the leaf the same color. They're far enough away from each other that that'll be fine. I'm going to 
going to use a different color and I will put the colors that I used I'll put the hex um, number up in the corner as well so that you can see it or down below I'll put it on the screen anyway Okay, so then next what we're going to do is we're going to add some little details so I don't forget and then I'm going to get rid of my sketch. That's generally what I do. So I'm just going to choose a white or a lighter color. Again, I'll make sure that the numbers are there so we can follow. I'll also put them in the description. And I'm just going to trace around my sketch just like we did with the line art and then fill it in. So after doing that, I'm like, I don't know if I like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to see if it makes a difference if I bring these arms all the way up. And I'm doing it on a different layer so that if need be, I can kind of erase underneath. And this kind of happens sometimes really when I'm doing my art, it's kind of a process. And I'm, I, with my other, with the fairy one, I knew exactly what I was doing because I'd already drawn it. This one, we're kind of doing it together. So we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to draw on the one side and I'm just going to delete this here and see if I like that without deleting that line art first. And the other option I thought would be to change it completely on this side and fill it in and give it white arms you know sometimes you got to make your own kind of music so we could do that or that or we can take the we can just get rid of it completely and not have that so i think what i'm gonna do is get rid of i'm not gonna do the colored i'm gonna keep the arms the way they are like this long up but I'm not going to draw them in the question is do I like that better or worse I like that worse I'm gonna color in the feet I'm gonna go like that. I actually don't mind the front feet, uh, but I'm gonna change this to multiply. I'm gonna take this sketch off. And yeah, I like that difference. Um, I think I'm gonna change it a little bit more though and try different things here. Yeah, I like that. Put my sketch back on because I wanna also add in my cheeks. For this one, I'm gonna make it a clipping mask so that it clips in because I do like the idea of it kind of going off and I also am a little bit messy with it. So I, if you want, you can leave your frog the way it is. I am going to put some shading on it as well though. So I'm going to use my clipping mask for most of it as well and I'm generally going to use the multiply as well. I don't have any kind of set style on how I shade, like I don't pick a light source or anything like that. I really just kind of go by the way it looks. If I like it, I keep it. If I don't, I get rid of it. And when in doubt, I kind of add a spot or two. Just random wherever. <laughs>
Okay, so there we go. Most of the shadows are done. For my own personal drawings, I really don't put a lot into the highlights of it. I just kind of, I just don't use it <laughs> generally. I will just make like little sparklies, I guess, or I'll outline something. I just want to see what color that will give me. That's not what I want. I don't do a lot with the highlight, but I do a sporadic bit of highlighting. So like for instance here, you get a good angle. I would do maybe a full length kind of thing on this little leaf. So I find myself kind of wanting to add some texture to this, but this is also a piece that I would consider done. How I would finish it off is I would probably change the background color because from just I just don't really do why is this not looking at me? I don't do a white a solid white much anymore. Uh, but I would also do maybe like a nice little blue circle around him to kind of encapsulate it. To do the circle you just touch down on the screen. And away you go. I hope mine's closed. It is good. So I could call that done. I would also give it maybe a blue. Mm, maybe not a blue. Maybe a white but not white. Like an off color. Or a pink. A little peach. Something like that. I kind of always go with this background, but there's so much in there that we can't really. So I think I'm just going to go with like the off-white, which looks good. Now, as I said, this is done for me, but what you can also do is just add some texture by going over everything. I use the uh, dry ink, and sometimes what I'll do is I'll just go over it with the multiply because it'll give it It'll be a different color and then I'll just lower the opacity but I'll raise this up and sometimes I'll even just make it as big as possible and just slowly go around it and you can cover in the whole thing I could have used this instead for the shading so lots of things so am I yeah I'm clicking mask so I actually just kind of want to give them all texture just kind of give a little bit. So I'm just essentially filling in what he's already got. He's too dark for me. Uh, but now that it's on multiply, I'm just going to lower the opacity. And then you still can have some of that texture. You don't see a lot of it, but it is there. You can definitely tell it like in here. And I think it adds just a little bit more. You can change the color too, like it doesn't have to be that color. I did alpha rock and I did paintings. A lot of times I like to use a different color on top of it. And that really changes it up too. I actually like that. I don't know if you could even tell the difference on screen, but it does make a difference to me. Uh, and then I'm going to do the same with down here. So clipping mask. And then I'll use inking. I'll use the drink. I'm going to go as high as it'll go. I'm going to use that, I think. We'll see how it looks. And then I'm just going to color over it. And if I miss some, I don't really mind because it adds to the texture. I kind of actually, I think I prefer that. Like that's without, that's with. I like it darker like that actually. So I might just lower it a little bit, but not much. And there we go. Oh, the most important thing, I forgot. When we really like our art, we need to sign it. I 
And I will say, it is really weird doing... I almost put 12. Doing the, the line art for me now. Because I've been doing lineless and I've been really enjoying it. So if my lineless art style is something you would like to see a tutorial on, let me know in the comment section below and I will be happy to share that video. Also, just a reminder that my website has a ton of free things, really. I like to give everything away. So I have a ton of mandalas on there. If you join the uh, newsletter, there's like a free pack of tutorials. I have other tutorials on my website. I've got, I have one that's like a kit. Like I've got, I've got a ton of stuff on there for free. So if you want to draw or you want to color some more and you like my art, you like my little doodles, put that there. What I'll do maybe too is uh, once these are done, these little, these little frogs, I might, cause I, only because I want to do a couple more, maybe what I'll do is I'll put them on my website as a coloring page as well. If you'd like to see that, let me know. But yeah, check that out. It's www.bepinky.com and I will link that in the comment section as well or in the description. But yeah, guys, and that's it. If you enjoyed this, please let me know so I can, you know, continue to make things for my channel that you guys enjoy. I hope you like your frog. I hope you like your frog. And thank you so much for the suggestion. If anyone has any others, please let me know. I will do my very best to try and create it for you. I think this guy turned out really, really cute. And if you guys followed along, if you make your own, please, please tag me on Instagram at uh, bepinkydoodles and then I can see it. And I think that'd be really great. There you go. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you guys so, so much. I really, really do. And stay pink, guys. Bye.